Hey everybody, well it's Brandon back here again with my Comic of the Month Club for October 2019. Well, before we get into the box, I, we got a letter from Chris at Comic of the uh, Month Club. And I will uh, read it to you. It's kind of a somber note, but I can definitely agree with them and understand why they're doing it. But let's go ahead and read it. To our subscribers, we here at Comic of the Month Club have been planning on making some changes for a while, but find it hard to implement these changes while continuing our current monthly subscription boxes. With that said, we want to let everyone know that we will be putting the current monthly subscription boxes on hold while we update the site, inventory, sign-up process, and move some things around on our end to start up a new exciting version of the service of the service as soon as we can. In the process of doing this, you will receive an email from PayPal showing the reoccurring payments have been canceled in the next week or so. So, when we get the new service up and running, emails will go out to current subscribers as a heads up to get signed back up if you choose to do so and will offer an incentive for returning subscribers. If you have already paid for next month's box, we will still be sending those out. This will most likely only affect anyone who signed up after the 15th of the month. We will track the payments received to the boxes that have been sent. So if we owe you a box, you will still receive it. Again, we don't plan on going anywhere. And in this transition phase, you will still be able to purchase our one-time mystery boxes from the website. We appreciate this support from everyone and hope you all enjoy the upcoming changes. Thank you everybody. Chris, a Comic of the Month Club. So that means for maybe November and December, I may not be putting up reviews, but as soon as they get back and if I have the extra money, I will be signing back up for their service. But as of right now, this is going to be my last review until the transition is fixed on their end. So with that said, let's get in to October 2019's Comic of the Month Club and see what goodies we got. Just a reminder, this is a monthly subscription service for comic book lovers and it is $20 plus $5 shipping and you get like 10 comics which are bagged and bored usually but since they're doing the transition y'all might want to hold off on it until they get everything settled so with that said let's go to the table and see what goodies we got all right guys i'm back with comic of the month club for october so let's get right into this and see what kind of really good stuff i'm hoping to see from comic of the month club see how many we got this month wow we got 12 this time they must have put a couple extra in for the transition period so without further ado first up we have oh cool i do not have this we have issue six of six of justice league versus mighty Morphin power rangers pretty cool Pretty cool. Oh, cool. Issue number five of six of Justice League versus the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So I'm almost done. I think I'm missing issue two. I think so. Next up, we have. Oh. And both of those are DC and Boom crossover. This is from Image, issue number four, Bedlam. It's got a cool art style to it. I've never heard of this. Next up we have, ooh, I like that holographic. Issue number one from Malibu Comics. We have Necroscope. Uh, 
I like I like the shininess. <laughs> that is really cool. Then we have ooh a claw. Uh, is it, wait, yes, this is from Clive Barker. It is a Marvel studio or yeah a Marvel comic, and it is which issue is it? This may be issue one. I'm not for sure. But Club Barker's The Saint Center. Yeah, it's all shiny with foil and stuff. It's really, really cool. <laughs> then we have, oh, from Aftershock, issue number 10. Black Eyed Kids. Never heard of this, so definitely willing to give it a shot. Next up, we have from Aftershock, issue number nine of Black Eyed Kids. I do like the artwork. Artwork's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of. Not, I can't remember what that one was. From Malibu, we have issue number one of six, The Nocturnals. Now this artwork is freaking amazing. That, that 90s style artwork, goodness, that freak you out as a kid. <laughs> Then we have, oh, cool. I think I do have this in graphic form, but it's really cool to have the uh, issue. We have IDW issue number three, cover B of Spike After the Fall. Gotta love some Buffy and Angel. Issue number two, cover B of Spike After the Fall. Spike and all his gloriousness. And is issue number one, cover A of Spike After the Fall. Yeah, After the Fall was a great angel series that I need to get back into. I do have the one, the graphic novel, uh, Spike After the Fall. And I have like the first three. Angel After the Falls, but I need to finish out those. And last, but not least, we have issue number 12, Crossed Badlands. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's... Uh, crossed, oh, sorry. Crossed Badlands. Get some weird people, but yet yeah, there's, like, nudity. I don't want to get censored. <laughs> So yeah. So yeah, we got that crossed Badlands issue twelve, and from and that's from Avatar comics. Then we have issue number one of Spike After the Fall. Issue number two, Spike After the Fall. Issue number three. Issue number one of the Nocturnals. Number nine of BK. Number ten of BEK. Uh, I'm guessing number one of Clive Barker's The Saint Center. Number one of Necroscope. Number four of Bedlam and number five and number six of Justice League versus the Power Rangers. So yeah, awesome. With that said guys I think I'm going to end the video right here. So, until next time I see y'all guys. Bye.